Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to create a koala bear valentine. The art elements that we'll be focusing on today are color, shape, and value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. We're going to be using in pencil to shade in our koala bear so we can really focus on where it should be darker and where we should have a highlight, which is where the light hits the object directly, to be lighter. So for this, we're going to be using a series of circles, and some of those circles will have to overlap. So I'll be working in pencil, and then outlining in a black marker. I'm gonna start with the mama koala. And I will draw the shape of the head right here in this area of my paper. So not too close to the top, we're gonna draw the shape of a head. I drew it so lightly, I bet you can't even see it. So I'm gonna press harder to make sure that you can see it. Now, a koala's head is an oval shape and we have some circles for the ears. Nice big ears. Okay, so can you see that? Press harder so that you can see that. Koala bear also has a large nose. So I'm gonna draw a circle. This is the snout part. And then I'm gonna draw the nose. Right there. I'm gonna draw two circles for the eyes. And I'm going to draw a circle for the body that's a little bit smaller because we wanna make it a little cuter looking. Put it right here. So, the head circle and the body circle are almost the same size, kind of looks like a snowman. And then we have two smaller ear circles. I'm going to draw the thigh muscle. Drawing a circle right here. And then I'm going to add the paws. One there, so that's a curved line there. And we're gonna put one holding a branch down at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to use our eraser. As you can see, I erase a lot, so there's no eraser left pretty much on the back of my pencil. So I have a separate eraser. And I'm going to erase some of these lines that should overlap. Now, on this part right here, I want to put my baby koala. So I am going to make my baby koala the same way, but smaller. But because we want the baby looking like he is clinging to mom's back or she is clinging to mom's back, we're gonna have to go over some of our lines. This is called overlapping. And then we'll have to erase. So first, I'm going to draw a smaller circle here. Let me erase inside of that circle so you can see exactly the size and where I put it. Because sometimes when we have too many lines, it gets very confusing. And I'm going to draw where I'm putting my ears. So I'm gonna put one ear here. The other ear has to be right here. I have to cover my nose or just touch my nose. Looks like a Mickey Mouse symbol. Okay, erase. Now, once again, I need to draw a small circle here for the snout, and then a nice big koala bear nose, which is a big oval. 
we want this little koala to be sleeping. But you can make the koala bear's eyes open. It's up to you. You are the artist. And then I need to draw the body. So remember, our body was about the same size as the shape of the head. Carry the body over here. And then I'm going to draw the little thigh muscle. So that was a circle down here at the bottom. And then I have the little paws. One down here. And one holding here. And we have our koala bear sketched out. We might want to add the branch now where our koala is holding on to. Koalas love eucalyptus. I made my eucalyptus in this drawing pink for Valentine's Day. I'll make it green in this one. But however you want to do your drawing, you can. You can turn it into a pink eucalyptus. I drew some curved lines over here for branches. And I added some more curved lines. They don't have to be exactly the same as the other one. Change it a little over here for branches. So now you can kind of imagine um, our entire drawing is sketched out. I'm going to switch to Sharpie uh, so that you can see all my lines. Now, the first thing I did was the circle. Uh, I'm going to add some zigzags so that it looks like my koala bear has some fur. Then I did the ears. And then I did this here. Now, in this drawing, I added some flowers in my koala's um, ear, and I added a butterfly. So I am gonna show you how to do those, but since I already completed the head, I'm gonna show it on the baby. Okay, then I did the nose. First, I did a circle, and then I did the shape of the big nose. I did two eyes. For this example, I made my eyes um, a little bit curved, like an almond shape. You can do that as well, or you can make up your own eyes. Maybe you want them smaller. Maybe you want them a different shape, but just so I can show you what I did in my last example. I went around them after I drew the circle. I added some little circles inside for highlights. And then I drew the body circle. And I drew the thigh muscle. Drew the paw. And then I drew the baby. I drew the shape of the head. I wanted to show you how to draw some of these flowers. So when I draw a flower, first I draw where I'm gonna put my flowers with circles. Then I put a little circle inside. And then I draw the petals from the little circle to the big circle. You can make your petals 
skinny shape, a little wider shape. And I always make the petals start in the center, little circle, and just touch the outside circle. And then I add some leaves. And then I erase all of the pencil lines. And my little koala has some flowers in her hair. Okay, next I am going to finish outlining the head and the ears. I did some closed eyes. I did the shape of a circle around for like a snout. And then I did a big oval for a nose the little paws. And then I have a thigh muscle. And then I added my branches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of these sketchy pencil lines that I put in. We'll be blending those in a little bit. Just cleaning up my sloppy artwork here. koalas. So next you are going to want to do the branches. When I do my leaves, um, it's very easy actually, I draw a heart. So you can even turn this upside down. And you can draw some leaf shaped hearts. They don't have to be perfect because it is kind of what eucalyptus leaves look like. And it adds a little valentine flavor. Okay, so that's how I do um, the leaves. I'm gonna add where the actual tree branch is gonna go. And then you can use a thicker Sharpie to color in things that we know are going to be solid, like pupils of the eyes. my nose. Okay, and we have a completed line drawing. Now it's time to add shadow. Shadow is where the form is darker due to the light not reaching it. Uh, a highlight, like these spots in the eyes, is where the light source is reflecting. So the light's actually reflecting on the eyes and the nose and creating that lighter spot. So, in order to create the shades of my koala bears, 
I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to lightly uh, drag my pencil in one direction over the surface of my koala pear. Let me just first add a half circle for the inside of the ears. some circles. Well, we'll add that with pencil. I think I added a circle around the eyes so that it could be a little bit lighter. Okay. Now all you have to do, very easy, take your pencil lay it on its side and very lightly, see how I'm holding it so that the side of the pencil is hitting the surface of my paper, and very, very lightly, I am just going in one direction with my pencil and shading in my koala bear. So do that in your entire koala bear except the circles we drew around the eyes and the circle around the nose. So we're just going to very lightly um, shade in our koala bear. And our koala bears have some gray fur now. Um, now it's going to be time to blend the fur. A lot of times my students will use the tips of their fingers, which make your fingers very dirty. And also, believe it or not, we have oils in our hands, which will make dark smudges in certain areas. So I have a wonderful solution. If you don't have, um, it's called a blending stick, and most of uh, the people I knew do not have them, is to take a napkin and to fold your napkin and turn it into a blending stick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it until you make a little tiny rectangle And then you're going to take the corner and you're going to fold it again. So make it basically a point that's so you can have a detail. Okay, and then you're gonna put your finger on that point and using a slow circular motion, you're going to blend in the gray. You do want to um, not run your hand across your entire work. So a great trick is to take an old piece of scrap paper like this one and lay that on your hand so that you're not smudging all of your work. When you are doing this, you should use a circular motion. And try to stay inside the shape of your koala. If you do accidentally go outside, it's okay. You can use your eraser and you can clean it up that way. Okay, so blend that all in and I'll be right back. And my koala bear is all blended in. You can see that the napkin is all dirty, my hand is not, and my fingers are not. Uh, now we have, I mean this is good enough, we have a gray koala, but it is a good idea to add some darker shades. What makes things look three-dimensional is the lighter and darker shades that they have. So how much shading you do is up to you, but you can go back in and you can add some more shadow. And I usually do that underneath um, and around the baby koala because we want the baby koala to look like it is top and the mom is holding it. So anywhere that baby koala overlaps. Okay, you can see that already adds a lot of uh, three dimension. You also want to add it under the neck because light would not reach there, right? And anything that you want underneath, that looks like it's gonna get a little bit of shadow. So just think about uh, what's on top and what's underneath. Thigh muscle is in front of the rest of the body, right? So a little bit of shadow. 
here, and that starts to make our koala look more three-dimensional. Put a little shadow under here. Again, you can leave this like this. It has texture, and koala bears have fur, so they have a lot of texture. Um, or you can blend it in some more if you like that really smooth look. You just want to be careful you don't over blend because then you lose any of the lights and dark shadows that you added in. So see, I do very little blending now. Okay, after you're happy with how you have shaded, it's time to add some color to our drawing. Uh, one place I like to add color is in the cheeks of my koala. Even though a real koala does not have rosy cheeks, I just think it adds a little bit of cuteness. So what I do is I erase in the areas that I want to add some color because I don't want them to look gray. And I'm using a smaller eraser, what's left of the eraser on my pencil, because I don't want to erase too much. Um, you can also, if an area you want it to look like it has more light, it has a highlight, that's where the light source, the sun would hit the top of my koala's hair, head and maybe the top of her ears. Then you can erase into your shading as well and that'll add some additional highlights. Continue adding some shadow, so under the neck or under the head, around the thigh muscle. See, I'm always holding my pencil to the side, not holding it up at a point, using the side of my pencil to kind of get these shadows in here. Now, take your colored pencil, make sure none of these eraser marks, make sure none of the eraser is sticking to your paper because that sometimes messes up your coloring. Just take your pink pencil and those little touches like the rosy cheeks. I added some pink inside of the ears. I actually used pink and peach, so a light pink, darker pink to kind of get some more color in there. And I actually, like I said, added a little bit of peach because I felt like it. So you can add whatever colors you want in the ears. You could make them a lighter gray. You don't have to have the rosy cheeks. Just adds a little bit of interest to your koala. A little bit of extra cuteness. Not that they need any extra cuteness. They're so cute. Okay. For our tree, um, you can use whatever colors you want. Uh, you can use brown for the branches, and you can use greens, any color greens that you want for the leaves um, or as you, I did here you can really go for Valentine's Day and make it a pink eucalyptus tree. I keep saying eucalyptus because that is what koala bears eat exclusively. That's all they eat and I will uh, be right back. Koala bears are just about done. Um, you might want to add some more blending. Maybe make these a little bit less obvious, these white areas. So they're light gray, not white, white. And you'll notice that I 
these areas that I made lighter with my eraser. I want to just kind of blend those in a little bit. And the last thing The last thing you should need to do is your artist signature. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. I can't wait to see what you create.